join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytales for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone. Today we're going to be watching more Star Trek, the original series. As you probably know, when you clicked on this video, the episode we're going to be watching today is called The Naked Time. I have no idea what this could be about, but hopefully there will be some nudity. Just kidding. I have no idea. I don't think they did that back in the 60s. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. If you guys would like to join me in going to where no bunny has gone before, let's do it. An ancient world, now a frozen wasteland. Our mission? Pick up a scientific party below. Oh, very cold. Another very cold planet. Check out the life support systems. Roger. All life systems were off, sir. That is... Strangled That's a mannequin. <laughs> Engineer at his post. He's frozen there like he didn't care. One man was taking a shower, fully clothed. Why would he do that? I thought this was the naked episode. They're taking showers with clothes on during the naked episode? What is it? Backwards day? Don't take your gloves off. It's cold. Maybe it's not that cold. He itched his nose, though. That's gotta be significant. Those things aren't even sealed up? Ooh. Certain we expose ourselves to nothing. But they're All already exposed! What caused it? Unknown, Captain. It's like nothing we've dealt with before. Well, you're you're about to deal with it now, buddy. Now this guy got infected with that blood or that red liquid. It's gonna make him want to get naked, take off all his clothes. Pretty soon, we're having a giant naked party at the Enterprise. Everybody gets infected, contaminated. It's gonna be the best episode ever. The science party we were to have picked up has been found dead. Life support systems had been turned off. We remain in orbit to complete our mission close scientific measurement of the breakup of this planet. So, the life support was turned off? Purposefully? Or what? Decontaminate. Contamination got inside the suit, though. You're fine, Joe. Up out of there. Your blood pressure is practically non-existent. The readings are perfectly normal for me, Doctor. Thank you. And as for my anatomy being different from yours, I am delighted. <laughs> A little itchy there, buddy. How are they? They're fine, Joe. Terrible, Captain. It was terrible. Whatever was happening, they didn't care. Who's this? The lab status report, Doctor. Almost as though they were irrational, drugged. An engineer sitting there apparently oblivious to everything. A woman strangled. Could be some form of space madness we've never heard of. Our spectral readings showed no contamination, no unusual elements present. Instruments register only those things they're designed to register. Mm -hmm. Space still contains infinite unknowns. Mm -hmm. There may be drastic changes in gravity, mass, magnetic field. Unless you people on the bridge start taking showers with your clothes on, my engines can pull us out of anything. We'll be warping out of orbit within a half second of getting your command. I'll hold you that half second, Scotty. What are we eating? More strangely colored jello salad? Hmm. I feel like he's getting the sensate, like a tingling or a tickling sensation or itching. Like something's crawling on his skin like a snake. Last week it was botany he was trying to get me interested in. Fencing tones a muscle, sharpens the eye, improves the posture. You tell him, Joey. Explain to him. Hey, Joey. Get off me. You don't rank me and you don't have pointed ears, so just get off my neck. <laughs> wow. What's with him? Nothing. Oh, it's that jello salad. What are we doing out here anyway? Take it easy, Joe. We've got no business being out here. No business. Take it easy. Now, now, calm down. Just... Hey, Joey, put the knife down, huh? You're all steamed up, Joe. We don't belong here. We don't belong. I don't belong. Hey, Joey, put the knife down. Don't be afraid, Joey. You're just getting sweat about it. Let go. Okay. Let's... Joey. <laughs> Current theory. 
Joe, Some give me sort that. of intelligence. Is... Uh-oh. Got beet juice on him. We need medics! Uh-oh. Now he's infected. It's by the blood. It's like doesn't want humans near this planet or whatever. Doesn't want humans out in space. So like puts the thoughts in their mind like we need to leave, we need to get out. We need to just erase ourselves from this area. Probably not correct, but current theory. Obviously this planet is condensing more rapidly than expected. It's like somebody turned off the life the life support system. And then just, like, let themselves die. Like, this is how it's supposed to be. Maybe. I don't know. It's like a snake that's getting into their brain and telling them these things. Oh, the CO2? Was, like, was he trying to kill himself? It's doubtfully meant. His capacity for self-doubt has always been rather high. What puzzles me is the, what brought it to the, the surface The two people so that force. are piloting the ship, I think... Navigation and the other one. Talk about navigation today, guys, in the comments. What is navigation's? What is that? What does that do? Thank you. His breathing rate is dropping, Doctor. Compensate with the respirator. What is it? Relative well, gravity increase, sir. Like the planet reached out and yanked at us. Compensate. Compensate. This shouldn't be happening. Are you sure the respirator is functioning properly? Yes, Doctor. Why is this man no dying? No will to live. He's dead, Jim. He's dead, Doctor. The wounds were not that severe. No, it was a fucking butter knife. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could. I don't know. Planet breakup is imminent, Captain. Shrinking in size at an increasing rate. We must be prepared to respond instantly to any sudden mm -hmm. change. And those guys in charge of... Engine room from bridge. Tie into the helm, Scotty. If we should call for power, we'll want it fast. No problem, sir. You'll have it. Everyone needs to work together to get out of critical situations like this. That's why you gotta have your top people on... on these tasks. I'm sweating like a bridegroom. Yeah, me too. Why don't you come down to the gym with me? Kevin the lad. Light workout will take the edge off. Hey, Sulu, don't be a fool! He's like, let's go! Come on, Joe! Or whatever his name was. <laughs> I got to him in plenty of time. That man should still no, be alive. No sense of self-preservation. The only reason he died, Jim, is he didn't want to live. He gave up. And that kind of man doesn't give up. We've run every test we know for everything That's we know. That's not good enough. Well, we're doing everything as possible. Bones, I want the impossible checked out, too. <laughs> Do the impossible. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> Captain's orders. Why isn't Mr. Sulu at the station? Where is Mr. Sulu? Have no fear, O'Reilly's here. Oh, you're relieved, you... Mr. O'Reilly. Lieutenant Uhura, take over the station. Yes, sir. Now, that's what I like. Let the women work, too. Report the sick day, Mr. O'Reilly. She does sick work. Day? Exactly where I was heading. Pfft. Uhura doesn't work. Look at this guy. Not a care in the world. Must be nice. <laughs> it's like a child. You have such lovely eyes. He passed it on to her. This must be a terrible shock. He does have pretty eyes. You know what Joe's mistake was? He wasn't born an Irishman. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Make it time! Man, he is fit. Everyone's always so sweaty in this show. <laughs> No escape for you. You either leave this bar bloodied, or with my blood on your swords. <laughs> Cowards! 
<laughs> what were their symptoms? Slightly disoriented, as if he were irrational or drugged. Precisely. Sir, level two, corridor three reports a disturbance. Mr. Sulu chasing crewmen with a sword. Fascinating. A pattern is developing. First, Tormolan, then Riley, who fancies himself a descendant of Irish kings. And now, Sulu, who is at heart a swashbuckler. Oh, so it, Okay. I think there's still like a, a lack of will to live, but also like pull something out of each person individually as well. Mr. Scott, acknowledge our controls are dead. Uh oh. Take her. What happened to Scotty? We shall you at last. Put that thing away for honor, queen, and false. So it's their their inhibitions put out into the open. Their naked inhibitions. Oh, we shall you. Nice teamwork there. I'd like you to teach me that sometime. Take hey, D'Artagnan here to sit. <laughs> so that's a very useful Scotty, skill. Yeah. Power. Engine room, acknowledge. You rang, sir? This is Captain Kevin Thomas Riley with the Starship Enterprise. I've relieved Mr. Scott of his duties. And now, the captain will render an ancient Irish faith. I'll take you... At our present rate of descent, we have less than 20 minutes before we enter planet atmosphere. And burn up, I know, Mr. Spock. Now, this lady is the other one who got infected as well. We have 19 minutes of life left without engine power or helm control. How did Riley get in there? He ran in, said you want us on the bridge. Well, the only way to get that door open is to cut through these wall circuits here. I've watched them fade away. This is where we fought Khan. Lieutenant O'Hora, you've interrupted my song. Uh, I'm sorry, but there'll be no ice cream for you tonight. Damn it. Oh, and it was chocolate too, I heard. 17 minutes left, sir. <laughs> really great camera work for that. Uh, this is Captain Riley. Crew, I have some additional orders. In the future, <laughs> all female crew members will wear their hair loosely about their shoulders. Okay, Con. And now, crew, I will render Kathleen. One more time. Please, not again. <laughs> He's like, I can't take it I'll one more time. I'll take you home again. Emergency signal, Captain. Both decks four and five. Fights and disorders. Get me sick, babe. Oh, boy. How many people are infected? <laughs> Roman report to the lab. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to get to the bridge, and this crewman won't let me by. Crewman, stand aside. Oh, well, yes, sir. I'll take you home again, Shanti. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be a few people, but it seems to be spreading pretty rapidly. We have 14 minutes left. Even if we were under full-scale attack, I couldn't move any faster, not maintain a safety factor. At the rate you're proceeding, calculations show that you'll take a minute and a half, more than we have left. You can't afford a safety factor. That conversation took up of like 20 seconds. Get him out of here. <laughs> Don't touch him. Sir? Take the helm. Uh, I need to figure out how this is spreading. Off. Sir, if I could cut him off, don't you think I. Oh, man. This is making me get like. Too much chaos going on. It's making me very uncomfortable. Mr. Spock. Uh oh. Mr. Spock. Oh. The men from Vulcan treat their women strangely. At least people say that. But you're part human, too. I know you don't. You couldn't hurt me, would you? Hmm? What's her deal? Is her dream to. I'm in love with you, Mr. Spock. I was gonna say, make love to a Vulcan. Yeah. Or she has a... Oh, she has feelings. She uh, kept bottled inside. 
I see things, how honest you are. You hide it. But you do have feeling. I'm in control of my emotions. No, not for long, I don't think. I don't know why, but I love you. I do love you. I am sorry. Bridge to sick bay. Is Mr. Spock there? Well, if Spock is not in control of his emotions, that is a very scary prospect. Because he's gotten us out of so many tough situations, you know? He's always so reliable. Oh. I think basically every emotion that he pushes down, that he, you know, silences, is just going to be coming up. All the things. Put your faces on stun. Don't fire unless he's armed. Go. Finally! Get him out of here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Aww. I'm gonna cry too. Stop. I am in control of my emotions. Control of my emotions. Oh. My duty is to. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Aww. Acting on point, though. Acting definitely on point. Captain, turn the engines off. Completely cold. It'll take 30 minutes to regenerate them. Orbit plot shows we have about eight minutes left. I've got to have 30 minutes. Man, they really know how to make the stakes high in these episodes. We can balance our engines into a controlled implosion. That's only a theory. It's never been done. Well, you have to try. I was on the bridge. What did you do? How did he heal? It's water. Somehow on this planet, water's changed to a complex chain of molecules. What's that, doctor? That's how we missed it. It passed from man to man through perspiration. It presses the centers of judgment, self-control. Now get someone oh. to the lab. Tell them the serum works. It was in the water. <laughs> <laughs> My mother. I could never tell her I loved her. Oh. I've got four minutes, maybe five. An Earth woman living on a planet where love emotion bad taste we've got to risk a full power start respected my father our customs i was ashamed of my earth jim when i feel friendship for you i'm ashamed you've got to hear me we need a formula we've got to risk implosion spend a whole lifetime learning to hide my feelings <laughs> Vulcan's gonna win in a slapping contest, let me tell you. We've got to risk implosion, it's our only chance. It's never been done. But we've gotta take that one in 10,000 chance. Bridge to Captain. Engineer asked, did you find... Yes, I found Mr. Spock! I'm talking to Mr. Spock, you understand? Yes, sir. Three and a half minutes left, Captain. I've got it. Oh, no. Disease. Love. I have a beautiful young. <laughs> have you noticed her, Mr. Spock? You're allowed to notice her. The captain's not permitted. Flesh woman to touch, to hold. But as the captain, he can't have any relations, but I guess anybody else can? Help. Stand by to intermix. I call the formula in from the bridge. Is Spock better, or he's... Because of his training, he was able to maybe reel it in? Help him. Clear the corridors. The turbo lift. Never lose you. He's in love with his ship, but his ship can't provide him the touch of another another human. <laughs> All better now? Hyperbolic course. Direction, sir. It doesn't matter. The way we came. Of course, late in, sir.
Uh, I think it's still wearing off. No beach to walk on. Raise antimatter 840 degrees. That'll take four minutes. If we have the time, we'll have to risk it. Engage. Velocity gauge is off the scale. We're now traveling faster than is possible for normal space. Mm -hmm. Check elapsed time, Mr. Sulu. My chronometer is running backwards, sir. Time warp. They went back in time? We're going backward in time. Helm, begin reversing power. I thought the episode was ending. Now we have a whole new conundrum. Power. Reversing. We're back to normal time, Captain. Did they just invent time travel? Not invent, but... Engines ahead. Warp 1. We've regressed in time 71 hours. It is now three days ago, Captain. Huh? We have three days to live over again. We can go back in time, to any planet, any era. We may risk it someday, Mr. Spock. Steady as she goes. Interesting. So that just opened up possibilities for future episodes of time travel, backwards, maybe forwards. Okay, I haven't much time because... um. My husband has been trying to get a hold of me for the past 20 minutes. Um, that was an interesting episode. My favorite part of the episode was Spock losing control of his emotions and seeing another side of him. We got to learn about some of his regrets, which was really interesting. Something that he definitely probably has thought about, maybe thinks about often, but doesn't really let it come to surface to affect him, but then... In this moment, it, it definitely did. I got to see a little bit more of Leonard Nimoy's acting in different uh, situations. Yeah, definitely a fun episode. Oh, the guy who died at first. No, he wasn't wearing a red shirt. I guess it hasn't started yet. I'll be keeping an eye on that. You guys have been telling me about the red shirts. Um, okay, well, yeah, I can't really stick around, but that was a fun episode. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I look forward to reading your comments, and Dad, miss you and love you. Take care, everyone.